The Lion King is officially in Springfield at Juanita K. Hammonds Hall for the Performing Arts. If you have not seen this show, you have to see it. I am so excited because I'm getting a backstage tour here at Juanita K. Hammonds Hall of the amazing puppets at the Lion King. I'm joined today by the puppet master, Michael Riley. Hello. You're the puppet supervisor for this show. I am. Yeah. There's a lot of puppets, right? There's 230 puppets. 200, how do you keep yeah. it straight? Uh, you know, they all have their own personalities. They do. Yeah, sure. And there's a lot of upkeep? There's a ton of upkeep. Painting and sculpting and engineering, yeah. So you're never, you're never bored, are you? Never bored. <laughs> and this is Nick Cordelione, who plays Timon. Hello. You are brilliant in the show, by the way. Oh, my gosh. It's almost hard to see you because you're looking at the puppet. Yeah, I'm so, hiding behind this puppet the entire show. You, are, you don't know who to look at because you're so good. Your puppeteering is so good. Did oh, that take a long time to, to perfect? Uh, absolutely, yeah. And there actually was a light bulb moment. We were like, oh, wait, that's what it is. It's not, I'm not fighting with this thing in front of me. It's this thing together that we do. It's a tandem. So. Right. Had you studied puppeteering before? No, 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 not at all. So this is, you know, so you learned for the role. Yeah, for sure. Which is that Disney is super gracious to go, hey, we want somebody who has the things we need and let's teach them to do this puppet because it's very specific. So. How difficult was it to learn? Uh, so difficult is that it's difficult in that it's not uh, natural. It's not a natural feeling. You have to go, oh, okay, so it feels strange. It's like you're wearing a backpack in the front and you like you're wearing flippers and you kind of have to be kind of plié most right. of the time. There's a lot going on in your brain. Yeah, yeah. But once you have all those mechanics, then it sort of becomes second nature and you're like, oh, I got it. It's, and then you kind of just... It's uh, an extension of yourself. Right. How long have you been with the show? Uh, for about almost nine years. Nine years? Yeah. Performing the same role? Yeah, yeah. Now, how, as a performer, you know, I'm a former performer, how do you keep <laughs> that fresh and exciting for the audience who's seeing it for the very first time, but it's your 7,000th time, right, and you right. have to keep it exciting for you, the performer, and the audience? Well, part of it is doing exactly what you just said. A lot of times when I'm coming into the theater, I'll walk through the front and see people who are coming to see it, and that's a, an excellent reminder of like, oh yeah, right, these people have not seen, some of them may have seen it and they loved it, some people have never seen it ever, and that's a good reminder where you go, oh right, tonight is the first time, it's never going to happen like this previous and it's never going to happen like this again, right. um, it is very much, that's the beauty of theater, and so we're just super fortunate to be able to do it. I loved your performance last night, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, back to the costumes, they're so intricate, they're so detailed, it's so artistic, mm -hmm. these have to weigh a ton, and these, these actors have to be in perfect shape to wear these, right? Uh, I don't know about that. No, they're, they're incredibly light. So, you know, Mufasa's mask yes. here wears nine ounces. Can I hold that? Yeah. Nine ounces. Oh, this is so deceiving because you would yeah. think w this is like balsa wood, super right. heavy. No. This is incredible. Wow, one hand. Look at that. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. That's and what about these over here? You know, Nala weighs six ounces and Simba weighs about a pound and a half. He's one of the heavier ones with his enormous mane and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have Zazu. <gasps> Zazu! Look, <laughs> one of my favorite characters, no offense, one of my favorite characters in the show. <laughs> this is amazing. How much yeah. does this weigh? He weighs about four pounds and he takes a lot of fine motor skills so he can mm -hmm. blink, he can talk, and of course he can flap. Now, that must take a while to, to learn, to perfect, with all of those different things you have to move at the same time. Yeah, he's probably the most difficult puppet in the show. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes four weeks to learn how to do what you need to do on stage, maybe six months before you're really a master mm -hmm. at uh, this. I will tell you, that the, the actor who portrays it does a masterful job because he yes. makes it look effortless. That's right. And I think that's the goal. You don't want the audience. Do you no. mind if I try that? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, my gosh. I'm so, so I'm going to put excited. this in okay. your other hand. Oh, this hand? Okay. Is yeah, that right? Just put your thumb through that little. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. My first time. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so mm -hmm. what? <gasps> talking, blinking. Yep. Is there any other tricks I should know? Underneath, that yes. little lever folds down. Oh, wait, which one? This lever here. I'm going to help you. Please help me. So push that down. Push that down. Yes. Oh, my. Perfect. I don't know if I'm strong there enough to go. do this. <laughs> it this, does. It's... This is a dream come to, Look. Look at this. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for the interview. <laughs> I, this is amazing. If you have not seen The Lion King, it's in Springfield at Juanita K. Hammonds Hall through March 10th. Mm -hmm. Get your tickets now at HammondsHall.com. Michael, Nick, thank you so much. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. <laughs>